So this is the GX620 hooked up to an old 32 inch Vizio. This TV is not HD, it's only 1366 by 768 so the 620 seems to work just fine with it. I'm not using a keyboard or mouse, I'm using this remote control and this is Windows Media Center 7 with the HD Home Run Prime so that's just, uh, I think that's HBO HD but if you hit info it comes up in the bottom and tells you what you're watching and you can get more information as you scroll to the right you can go through all the categories up top but if you go back to the main screen and hit OK on it it brings up even more information about the show which is pretty cool but if we go back we can go to our guide which is really nice and clean much nicer looking than what comes on the digital boxes um, and I mean it's pretty simple to use if you want to record something you just highlight it and hit record just like you do on a cable box it's now recording that so this thing's got three tuners so I've got the other computer going downstairs on a channel right now so we're actually using all three tuners because we're recording Death Becomes Her we're watching channel 300 and there's something else being watched downstairs but um, channel changes and stuff are actually they're not bad they're pretty quick so we can exit the guide and that's channel up right there so it's about the same speed as a cable box maybe a little slower but for zero dollars a month I'll take it so if you want to go directly to a channel you just type the channel number just like a cable box you would I really can't tell any difference in quality. This is just hooked up VGA. This uh, computer doesn't have HDMI. I don't even think this TV does. It's a pretty old HD TV. Well, pre-HD. Um, so I did record a couple things last night. If I want to go there, I just hit the recorded TV button on the remote. And there's the shows that I recorded. If you want to watch one, you just you click on it and start watching it. So, person of interest I watched already but I'll go ahead and play it and for fast forward and stuff it's really quick it's very responsive too it's much more responsive than the cable box like as soon as you hit the button it's you know reacting to what you taught it to do so if we go back to our recorded TV since I've already watched it if I want to delete it just get on it Hit OK. Go to delete. Are you sure? Yep. And it's gone. So, but not only does it do live TV and show you all your recordings, but it throws them in a video area too. And it's neat because it goes out and gets the art for them. Although I think I just went to the wrong spot. Ah, I know where I want to go. I'm going to go back to the main menu, which is this, and if I go to it's pictures and videos, video library, nope, I forget where it is, but somewhere they show up with all their art and everything, it's pretty cool. So anyways, there's a live TV button if you want to go back to live TV, it just takes you back to the channel you're on. So it's really quite cool. I'm definitely getting rid of the two cable boxes going this route.